Today, I'm challenging Shaq, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, to a burger cook-off. And I do cook a mean burger. We'll have 15 minutes on the clock, and our time starts now. Today, I'll be making my specialty smash burger. I've got Martin's potato rolls as the buns. Then for my smash patties, I am gonna be using Shaq's burgers to make them, but I'm gonna do something special. I wanna make two patties out of one, so I'm gonna slice right down the center of this thing. You like this or no? Like what? What I'm doing? I'm concentrating on what I'm doing over here. Then I'm gonna be topping those with some simple, classic American cheese, with a little burger sauce, and a few sliced onions. What do you put on your burger? What ingredients do you have in front of it? I can't tell you my ingredients, just to say they're shacklicious. I'll start off by slicing these tomatoes. Ah! Thought I cut myself, didn't you? <laughs> That's enough tomatoes, that's all we leave. Now I'm gonna lay out my lettuce. I don't like that piece right there. I don't like that piece either. What's wrong with this lettuce? This is the Meat District Shack Patty Burger. No need to thaw. 100% Angus beef, cooked direct from the freezer. Just count to five, I wanna show you something. One, two, three, four, five. This is what I call I Am Kazam. You know what this is? I don't even know what that is. I'm already finished. La 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 la. You haven't even done anything. I'm waiting on you. You didn't chop your lettuce. You haven't salted your tomatoes. Salt my tomatoes? Yeah. What does that mean? Put salt on the tomatoes to bring out all the oh, flavor. Oh man, that's not how you eat a shack burger. We don't use salt. Work smarter, not harder. You have no salt on there. Don't worry about what I have on, on mine, okay? But just look at it. It doesn't look delicious. It's just... Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to scrape my patty off and flip it over. Then right away, we have to go on with some of that American cheese. Once this next patty is cooked on the first side, I'll go ahead and flip it again. And then immediately hit it with a little more American cheese. Jack, do you cook? I magically cook. I cook whatever I want. I could just wake up and say, hey, cook me an egg salad sandwich, and it'll magically appear somehow. Shack magic. I'm assembling the perfect burger. Throw some of that lettuce on the top. You gotta let the lettuce hang off on the side. Put some tomato on that thing right there like that. And then you have the perfect burger. Tell me that burger doesn't look like good. That's disgusting. You gotta have someone eat that after. Oh, I'm gonna eat it, don't you worry. No, it's for the judge. I am the judge. One of us is gonna win. I'm gonna win. I am starting to work on my sauce here. And the first thing is making that relish. I like to chop up the pickles myself. You know what I'm doing right now? No, I have no idea. I'm using all the 15 minutes to make this as nice as I possibly can. Okay, can I explain something to you? Yeah. That's real regular hardworking people. Yeah. We don't have time to wait for that. Can I teach you something? No. Come on. No. Please? I'm 50 years old. I want to teach you how to dice an onion. Oh, no, I can't. Why not? This is gonna make my best thing. You're not, no, you're not gonna eat it. You don't have to eat it. I'm a ladies man, Nick, trust me. All right, you, you, you wanna be honest? Yeah. I'm a vampire. <laughs> if you wanna perfectly dice an onion, instead of cutting it like this, we're gonna start by cutting it in Wait. half. I'm gonna go next to you. Pick it up like this on its side, right. like that. You're gonna cut straight through there. Watch your fingers. Oh, don't worry about my fingers. Okay. Oh. Now take one side, chop off the butt. Never chopped onion before. Chop the butt on the other side. Oh, two butts? Then start peeling back the layers. We're looking for something like this. You want to leave the top part intact, but you're going to go ahead and slice all the way down just like this. And then once we have it sort of looking like a claw, face down on the cutting board, and then you just can chop like this. Yeah, you can also go and you've diced your onion. Help me make the burger sauce. Oh my, the burger sauce? Ketchup. Ketchup. Then we go mayo, a little bit of yellow mustard. Killing me right now, mate. These chopped pickles that I already did. Doesn't that look pretty good? Yes, it does. Do you know how to say this? Worcestershire sauce? You were close. Worcestershire. No, I got four degrees of shire. A little bit of smoked paprika. Smell that. Tell me what it smells like. It actually smells like Charles Barkley. We forgot one thing. Lemon juice. Cut the butt. You cut the other butt. And then you put that pressure on like that. Ah. First, down with my potato bun. Going on to my potato bun with my burger patties. On with a tiny bit of my sauce. Just a few of those onions that you helped me chop. You're part of this burger. Uh, I appreciate it. And to finish, on with that top little bun. And my burger is complete. Today I used a classic shack patty burger. I made it very simple. No fancy schmancy stuff that people do. And today I made my signature smash burger. And I'm pretty confident about winning this one today. It's time now to bring in our judge. How tough is this one? Yeah. No, no, don't do that. Try this one, my friend. Keep it going, keep it going. I think Shaq keeps it. Yes, we win, we win, thank you. What? We are the champions. He didn't even try the burgers. Yeah, you don't need to try it. Nick, and there's one more thing. Yeah. Manny, you're fired. What? Get out. Get out of here.